Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, I don't do this often, but I should, and I so I'm sorry, but today is um, something that I would like to talk to you about that really um, got me to uh, thinking that the misinformation that's out there can really, really lead to things that people may regret later, and we really should be um, trying to to uh, deliver that and you know make sure that the information that is out there is actually correct and so let's talk about something that happened recently and uh, my name is Nara I'm a real estate agent and if you don't know me I work in Northern Virginia and for the last 16 years and I'm sharing my experience and my knowledge on my YouTube channel and today I'm gonna talk about a post from Susie Orman um, that to say the, the to put it mild, mildly is uh, misleading, but let's 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 talk about this and let's see what she posted, shall we? She said that she would absolutely wait until September, October, November of this year before he, she even considers buying a home. And uh, you can pause this video, you can read this post, but the the gist of it is that because of all the forbearings that that's happening lately the property values will be going down hence the prices are going to go down so don't jump in on in you know and buy something if you are thinking about buying and she um is giving us an example of let's say if you pay three hundred thousand dollars for your home and your neighbor is out of work and cannot afford to make a mortgage payment so they foreclose and your neighbor's house goes for a hundred and fifty so the property values go down and we'll find ourselves in the um, same position as in 2007, 2008. And I cannot wait to tell you that a hundred percent of my, uh, agents around me, uh, specialists in the field, people who work in real estate, especially people who work in local real estate, DC suburbs, are very much against this post. They think that it's hundred percent wrong. And I thought that I would record this video and explain to you why I agree with them. And I think that this post is a bunch of, you know what, so I'm not going to go further than that. Okay. So first of all, according to the CARES Act, the lender or loan servicer may not foreclose on you until August 31st, and this actually may be extended. Now, yes, keep in mind that this is um, for the mortgages that are backed by the government, but the private lenders are following similar rule, so you, they can't really start a foreclosure process against you until August of 2020. That's one. Another part of the CARE Act is that if you experience financial hardship, you can ask for forbearance for up to 180 days. And if you uh, cannot uh, resolve it, you can ex uh, request an extension of the forbearance for a total of a 360 days forbearance. Now, I'm hoping you know what forbearance is. Uh, if you don't, call me, I'll explain it to you. Now, this doesn't even require any additional fees or penalties or additional interest. You don't have to provide any more documentation. You just uh, call your servicer. The main thing is to call your servicer and to talk to them and make sure that uh, you don't just stop paying your mortgage payment. You ask for forbearance so that it doesn't affect you later. Now, again, this is for the government-backed mortgages. Uh, FHA, VA, USDA, but the private lenders are following the same or uh, similar rule because there are also state and local government requirements uh, be, be for this. Now let's talk about foreclosure. Uh, the last survey came to this result showing that 90% of people have over 10% equity, at least 10% equity in their homes. 59% have more than 30% of equity in their homes. Now, if you have that much equity in your home and you are facing um, difficulty paying your mortgage, will you let your home go to foreclosure or will you try to sell it on the market for the market price 
get your money, pay off your mortgage, pay whatever expenses are for selling your home and move on with your life. So look at the number of people who can actually comfortably do it. The high level of equity really provides options for homeowners to avoid anything that is foreclosure related. Now, the last survey, the, the latest survey of um, homes um, with equity showed us that over 42% of homeowners actually own their homes free and clear, no mortgage. So that, again, tells us that we shouldn't really be expecting a wave of foreclosures. And I'm hearing here and there that we will be experiencing a huge wave of foreclosures. Well, that's not true because it, look, almost half of the people own their homes free and clear. There's there, no mortgages, hence no foreclosures, right? Um, if you have that much equity and you can sell your home comfortably, why would you let foreclosure to happen? So that's, that's something that I wanted to share with you and explain to you that the information that you are seeing everywhere may not be true. So please discuss your, your personal situation. If you're looking to sell, if you're looking to buy, please make sure you talk to professionals. Please don't rely on uh, posts like that or any national news because remember real estate is very local One more thing. I want to tell you about foreclosure. Let's say a house goes into foreclosure Let's say the bank now wants to put it on the market and do you really think the bank will price it at half of its value? The banks will price their their homes foreclosure or no foreclosure at market value and they will sell them at market value Right now, the, the market is crazy strong for sellers. There are so many buyers out there and definitely not enough homes to sell them. And the interest rate is so low that the inflow of buyers keeps going up. A lot of renters are now seeing increase in rent. So because interest rate is so low, it may be sometimes cheaper for them to buy something than keep renting. Um, so a lot of people are coming into the market hoping to buy, but there is a huge deficit of homes, at least in our area, but I have to be honest with you, I do communicate with agents throughout the country and we are all experiencing uh, similar uh, things. We are seeing a shortage of homes for sale and a very high demand. So by the time we get to a healthy market, it's going to take a while because we've been experiencing this for the last three years at least. But by the time we get to a very strong buyer's market where there are tons of homes for sale and not enough buyers, it'll be years, I, I believe. I personally believe it will, it will take years. So if you're thinking about buying, uh, you may want to consider buying now um, because of the rate and because we don't know if prices are going to keep going up and you may be priced out of what you want to buy. Or if you're Considering to sell right now, this is the time to sell because you can sell real fast for a max because a lot of the homes are selling uh, at bidding wars with offers coming in in the first 24 hours over asking price. Now, provided you prepare your home right. So if you need to sell and if you want to talk to me, to me or any other agent about how to prepare your home, let me know. I'd be more than happy to stop by and uh, tell you what will bring you most buck for your money all right so um that's it for today i hope this was helpful if you have any questions for me or you would like any questions answered in the form of this of video like this please reach out i would be more than happy to talk to you about it thanks have a great weekend bye mm -hmm.